welcome back to Butterfly Soup 2. Last time, Akarsha is like catching feels for Noelle. There was like this moment of exposing. I feel exposed. She seems to like know so much about me. Does that mean she likes me? I don't know what's gonna happen, but I am so down. I, am, I hope this happens. I hope this happens. It sounds cute. I'm excited to see where this goes. So let's catch up with Akarsha and see what's going on. You ready? Let's go. This man looks like a real, well, I mean, it's real people and then she kind of, I don't know what she does. She makes it like put a filter or something. Ugh. This looks like everyone's library ever. You know what I mean? This, these chairs are in like every library. Akarsha daydreams about Noelle as she uses one of the library's computers. I'm so effed, I can't stop thinking about her. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. It goes from like, I understand. <laughs> I understand, I don't understand. When you like, you're like normal and then it's like a flip switches, then you're like, uh oh, I understand. We've all been there, I think. Most of us have been there. Most of us have experienced this kind of feeling. Is this, yeah. We haven't even known each other for a whole year yet, but she already knows so much about me. I bet we're closer than a lot of couples who really are dating. She can't tell when I'm about to say something annoying before I even open my mouth. She knows I have a big sister, which is like a rare Akarsha fact because she's so much older than me. Heck, she's met my parents already? That's a coupley thing, right? What the heck are you doing? Gah! You scared me. I said hi, like, twice. You must be really out of it. I always focus on the computer. Mm -hmm. Akarsha points to the screen to try to tell, sell her point. I'm editing my report in MS Paint. I intercepted it before my parents checked the mail yesterday. Watch this. On the computer, Akarsha photoshops the B plus in English to an A minus. A minus? Why not just change it to an A plus? No, A minus is more realistic. Now I just gotta print this out. Don't tell anyone I did this, okay? Who do you think I am, Noelle? Yeah, I don't think Min is going to rat you out, you know? You're not even changing your actual grades, so you're not really cheating. You're right. I'm just cheating to my parents' brains. My hack. Akarsha pulls her new and improved report card from the tray. It's still warm from the machinery like fresh laundry. I used to hug them. <laughs> when you print something out, you hug it. You hold it to your body. It feels nice, nice and warm. I'll do your report card too if you give me $20. Nah, I can't be bothered. I don't care what my parents think. Wow, you're not worried about disappointing them? Why should I be? They don't seem, to, they don't seem that worried about disappointing me. Whoa, dude, that's deep. Even though Min gets horrifying grades, she's pretty smart in some other ways. She did manage to get together with Dia after all. Maybe she has tips for this kind of thing. Actually, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what? Hypothetically! If you had a crush on a friend, what would you do? Uh-huh. You have a crush? Who is it? I can't tell you, it's embarrassing! Is it someone I know? Seriously, I'm not telling you. No one can know. Is it Dia? Why would you think it's Dia? Eh. Girl, this is bad. Okay, whatever. What? No, I'm not trying to get my throat slipped by you. Is it me? Min is so dumb sometimes. <laughs> like, who? Whatever. No, but more questions. No more questions. I'm not exposing myself. What happened to being a love expert or whatever when I was trying to kiss Dia? Why don't you just follow your own shitty advice? Admittedly, it's easier said than done. That's true. That is true. Look, it's exactly what like what you guys said when I was on that date. Don't overthink it. Just be straightforward and tell them how you feel. Yeah, I think so, I think so, I think so, I think so. I think so, I think so. Has that worked out for me? No, but I think in general, it's just better to just say it. You know what I mean? Just, just, just rip it off like a band-aid. Don't linger, don't fester. You sure? They don't feel the same way. This could end up destroying our friendship. Yeah, just do it. You can even try one of those stupid effing pickup lines you keep practicing on my girlfriend. Okay, okay. I promise I'll stop doing that for real. I just feel like hitting on my crush directly is a massive risk, though. Well, it worked out for me. You never know unless you go for it. Yeah. Mm, but, to be fair, I've never... Aw, oh, man. That's true. It is complicated if you like a friend. And if you're in a friend group, like this friend group, nah. and then... Like, let's say Akarsha tells Noelle, and Noelle is, like, horrified, or, like, Noelle's homophobic, or something, like, really, really bad, let's just say, like, right? Then, that could make a really, it could be really, really bad. And, like, back in the, back in the day, it doesn't feel that, it was a while ago. The, during the time that these fools are in high school, 
it was not the like it was really bad. If you were gay, it was really bad. You could get in big trouble and stuff. So it de well, it depends on what kind of school you were at, but it was not the way it is now. It's more accepting now than it was back then. So it is more complicated if you like a friend. Eh? It's true. This is true. What's the worst thing that can happen? They reject you? Getting rejected is a huge deal. It'll make everything so awkward. I mean, yeah, but that's just the risk you gotta take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier when they're not in your friend group. <laughs> Cause then, like for me, I always think like, oh, whatever. If I if it doesn't work, then I never see this person again. Who cares? And then it doesn't work, and uh, whatever. You move on. It's better to know and get an answer than to never get an answer and always wonder. I can't live like that. I like getting answers, even if it's painful. Mm -mm. You don't get it. This isn't just me being paranoid. This has literally happened to me before. Oh. Oh, has it? Tell me. None of you went to the same middle school as me, so you don't know. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Akarsa, tell me. <laughs> Not only did my crush start avoiding me, but she told the rest of my friend group that they stopped and they, st and they stopped talking to me too. Oh, that's really bad. What the? That sucks. Yeah, no kidding. I try not to think about it much. Akarsa. Well, that wouldn't happen this time. Even if it blows up in your face, you'd still have memes yet and a well. Uh, right, obviously. The bell rings. Now, being direct about it still feels too risky. I also think if you're not ready, then you're not ready, ne? You shouldn't. If it feels too risky, then you shouldn't do it yet. You should just wait until maybe you feel like you do it. Or it feels like you could do it, but you don't want to. Um, yeah. Especially with that kind of background. I'm not even sure Noelle likes girls. But Dia wasn't really sure. And then it kind of happened. This is an age when you're young, you know? <laughs> so, see, well, that, that's not true. I feel like a lot of times, even when you're older, sometimes certain things can take you by surprise or you don't realize certain part about yourself or you realize like, oh, I would try this or, you know, that can happen really at any age. But some people don't feel like that. I don't know. Noel seemed kind of rigid, but these two have something going on that it, it could happen, I think. Heck, I've never even seen her express any kind of attraction to anyone at all. Is she just hella repressed? I think so. Maybe. In any case, I don't want to embarrass myself. The only safe way to do this is to seduce Noelle so hard she's compelled to confess to me first. That way, if it doesn't work, I can write off all of the flirting as a joke. There's no way this can go wrong. Okay. Use the mouse to interact with what? Oh, with these. This man. Bookshelves, desk. What's oh, the bookshelves? Finn crosses her arms at Akarsha as Akarsha browses through the shelves. I think he libraries. What? Well, that lines with who you are, I think. What? What's there to hate about libraries? It's free books. Well, I guess the books are okay, but the librarians are the worst. Why? This one time when I was like seven, I looked up a bunch of bad words on the school library's computer. The librarian saw my search history and got me banned from there for a month. Oh, wow! What words did you look up? It was just a bunch of swears I was curious about, like, damn, and the F word. I remember I searched middle finger to- You got banned from the school- the library for that? You were a baby. That's kind of crazy. I love that you thought middle finger was a bad word. Yeah, I was so innocent as a kid. Mm, I'm not sure innocent is the right word. <laughs> Is Noelle still fake tutoring you how to trick your parents into letting you out of the house? She actually tutors me for real sometimes. Wow, really? I haven't failed a single test since we started. Oh! She looks so proud, but not getting an F is a super low hurdle. Whatever, it's, 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 it's progress. That's what matters. Let's go. Alright, protect your hearing. Min nods and covers her ears as Akarsha walks through the library scanners by the door. The book scanner alarms go off! Library looks up, sees that it's Akarsha, and impatiently waves her through. That's still in her backpack! <laughs> that seriously happens every single time you walk through the scanners? Are you sure you don't have any library books on you? Of course, there's even a photo of me taped by the door now, but yeah, because after the first few times they searched me, they confirmed I don't have any. It almost feels like my backpack is haunted by a ghost of the library, but that's so funny. <laughs> she never found it. Where did Noel put the scanner thing? How would that happen? Pissed off any books lately? No. Unless maybe Noelle counts as a book. 
Because I annoy her daily, the books are mad at me? <laughs> are you hearing how crazy you sound right now? Yeah, I'm embarrassed I even said it out loud. It's probably just one of those things, like my magic resin. Your what? Never mind, forget I mentioned it. We're back into school. Look at the locker room. I don't have gym until later that in the day, and the baseball club doesn't meet till after school. By the way, our baseball team is called... Oh! What were we... I think we were the semis. I think we were the semis. Bagels! I think was my second choice, but I don't think I picked that. That name was my idea. I'm glad our team is so cultured. Ah, <laughs> uh, the public school, public school girls' restroom. Possibly the most disgusting place on earth. Ah, uh, somehow. Probably the boys is worse. The boys was always really bad, I've heard. Okay, first I need to go to first period and terrorize them all. Okay, let's go. Alright, I'm gonna head to class now. Adios, bitch. She's probably gonna go find Dia now. I feel like she's chilled out a lot since they started dating. That's good, that's good. I guess knifing people is less exciting than kissing your girlfriend. Hmm. This kind of school? Well, I don't know. I have not gone to school in a different state. Somehow these school, this type of school setup where everything's outside and stuff feels very California. You know what I mean? Because if it's snowing, then you can't have a school setup like this. Everything has to be inside, right? And when you see like movies and stuff set on like East Coast, the school is inside. Like all the rooms are inside. But most school in California are like this, where like uh, everything is outside. I hate how my parents yell at me for studying late at night. If I slept early instead of cramming, I'd probably fail. And then I'd get yelled at for not studying. Ugh, that's so gay. <gasps> you remember when people in high school used to say this? Maybe you don't if you're younger. I remember. It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. At our school, it's really popular to say gay when you mean stupid or uncool. That was my high school too. Everyone say, said it. It was bad. It was bad. This was, these were dark times. <laughs> so, you hear it all the time. Whenever people say they don't like something, they say, that's so gay. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. And even people who were out who were out and gay would say that too. I remember overhearing a conversation and one of the boys said, oh, that's so gay. And then, I don't remember who, but another person who was gay said like, why do you say that? Like, you get that that's not good for us, right? And he's like, it's just a saying. It doesn't mean anything, okay? Like, and I remember thinking like, I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this. It was hard to navigate high school, man. Look at your reflection. How is it that everyone else has bomb ass hair while mine's all sad and thin? What happened? Gene catastrophe? I don't think the hair looks bad. People don't like thin hair. Look again. The other day, I saw my side profile in a photo and was like, whoa. <laughs> me! Don't look at me on the side. That's why when I record these videos, you go straight. You go straight. My side profile is bad too. I understand. You can't have everything, okay? You can't have everything. I really go around looking like that all day. Wish I could get plastic surgery. No, you don't have to. Just, you know, I mean, if you want to, dad me. Okay. This classroom, oh my gosh. Noelle and Dia aren't here yet. I managed to set up a special surprise the other day. Hopefully everything's still in place. A few minutes later, Akarsha looks through the window. Outside, Noelle and Dia are approaching the classroom. Yes, come here, my sweet. <sighs> Suddenly, a water bottle whizzes through the open door and hits the floor with a loud smack. It rolls across the classroom until it hits the wall. So it's not saran wrap today. Noelle peers suspiciously into the classroom from the doorway. She experimentally reaches one hand inside and feels along the door frame, apparently searching for abnormalities. What's wrong, Frenchman? Afraid to come in. What did you do this time? What makes you think I did anything? Maybe the fact that you've done something every morning this month. Two against one! Cheater! Cheater! That's what you get, you worthless pest. He retrieves a sacrificial water bottle. Meanwhile, Noelle haltingly walks to her desk with an arm outstretched ahead of her, bracing for all manner of salt, whether it be liquid, solid, gaseous, or psychological in form. After thoroughly inspecting her desk, she apprehensively sits. After a few ten seconds, Noelle seems satisfied that the act of sitting down didn't trigger anything. Breathing a sigh of relief, she, have to leave she hefts a bulky laptop from her messenger bag. Yes, 
She didn't notice the extra wireless mouse USB I plugged into her computer last Friday. I have the mouse hidden in my pocket. Tia takes a thin plastic folder from her backpack and flops it back and forth to make a wop 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 sound. Did you work on the PowerPoint? I added a slide on sharks and dolphins as another example of convergent evolution. Laptops in school? Laptops in school. I don't know if we had laptops in school. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Noel scrolls to the side in question. It's a solid wall of text with no images. This is gonna put everyone to sleep! I'm not so confident that she's good at public speaking, but she has zero charisma or self-awareness. <laughs> so she just drones on and on forever, oblivious that she lost the audience ten minutes ago. I love her. Wait, I already made a slide about that. Swimming! He scrolls to the previous slide. It features a photo of dozens of fish and dolphins swimming in the ocean, cryptically captioned, Good shape. <laughs> Good. Good shape? I hate to break this to you, Dia, but literally no one but you is going to understand this. Neither of them are paying attention to me right now. Time to shine. Close the PowerPoint presentation. A cursor says it moves the cursor to the X button and closes the document. What was that? I think it crashed. I bet it's because you typed too many words on one slide, Noel. Even Bill Gates didn't see this coming. Noel reopens a PowerPoint and squints suspiciously at the slide in question. That can't be it. I fit more more words than this on one slide before. You have! Good thing we just saved. We didn't lose any significant progress. While Noel is busy typing an essay-length caption, Akarsha quickly closes the program again. Huh? See? There it is again! What's going on? You've been hacked, Noel. Don't tell me. You fell for those pop-ups advertising hot single ladies in your area. As if. Look, it's moving on its own again. Noel clenches her mouse harder, as if that'll help her regain control of the rogue cursor. Akarsha makes a drift towards the control panel. <laughs> Akarsha wiggles the mouse in her pocket. Dia's eyes flicker to the movement of fabric in Akarsha's windbreaker. <laughs> Busted. Oh shit, oh no! Dia grabs Akarsha's wrist and yanks it out of her pocket, revealing the wireless mouse in her hand. It was you! Wait, I just happen to have a mouse in my pocket. There's no proof this is connected at all. Dia wrenches the mouse from Akarsha's hand, but not before Akarsha uses her precious final moments to click on the control panel and change the mouse speed to the slowest setting. Pathetic. I could revert your changes within moments. You sure about that? Why don't you go ahead and try it? So while tries to navigate back to the control panel, the cursor inches across the screen so slowly the movement is barely perceptible. Akarsha! <laughs> the bell rings! This concludes Noel and Akarsha's daily morning screen fast. Once everyone is seated, the morning announcement plays over the intercom. First practice session over the senior Bangra is today. After school in the gym, don't forget your t-shirt order forms. <laughs> Our school has this tradition where we... Where the seniors do Bangra dance at the Multicultural Week. Multicultural Week! That's how you know you have diversity in your school. That's nice, yo. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Guess that means we'll go see Krissa and Liz dance. Oh, oh. The Japan Club's first meeting is today, after school, in N6. Unlike the anime club, besides discussing anime, we also eat Japanese snacks and learn Japanese manners and language. That doesn't sound like that significant of a difference. Our school may not have a football or baseball team anymore, but it does have hella new clubs popping up all the time. That's fun. It's because everyone wants to be able to put put founder and president on their college apps. Ah, ne? Yeah. Come to think of it, didn't Chris and Liz start the baseball club during application season? No way. Well, good for them. Even if they had an ulterior motive, it's been fun. It's Valentine's Day. The Muslim Student Association is kicking off their annual rose fundraiser. For five dollars, we'll deliver a rose to your special someone with a message of your choice. I remember these. I remember these. Mm, yeah. You can just even make a bouquet for twenty. Order forms will be distributed in third period today. Ha! Huh, like anyone's getting me one of those. The carta is up just as it glances at Noelle, who's sitting beside her. To her surprise, Noelle is listening to the intercom as intently as if she were being graded on it. Ah! Oh, wait, maybe this is my chance? I should act really pitifully down about being single and drop hints that getting a rose would make me happy. After seeing the love of mm, the love of her life, me, in such a miserable state, Noelle will feel guilty that she hasn't gotten me one. 
Akasha sighs heavily and slumps at her desk. What's the matter with you? I always feel the worst about being single on holidays where I have no one to celebrate with. Like Valentine's Day is supposed to be the happiest, most romantic time of the year, but it just reminds me of how no one's ever loved me. I bet Dia's getting roses this year. Must be nice. <laughs> what is there to envy? Flowers serve no practical purpose. Noel, uh, Robot Noel over here with no soul. They wither up within days and wind up in the garbage. What a waste of money. I do think, though, I am the kind of person that prefer to get the potted plant instead of a cut flower. Because then you can grow the flower forever. Kind of, well, not forever, but for a while. Mm -mm. But flowers are important. They like a... Uh, they like lift the room up. You put, you have cut flowers in a room, the room feels lighter or something. It feels happier. Mm -mm -mm. Of course you would think so. You, you uptight so it spoils for it. It's a thought that counts though. I personally wish someone would send me a rose. Hey. What? Did I say something funny? Not at all. Wasn't this the plan they were going to do? About like a... Oh, what was it? That like... They were gonna send like a cryptic rose to Akarsha and then be like, it it would bug her, like, who is the one? Who is who is it? And then they thought, ah, it's too expensive, we won't do it. I remember. I remember, you remember, I remember. Noel goes back to reading her meta mathematics puzzle book. Hmm, so that didn't go as expected. Time to revisit my tactics. Improvise, adapt, overcome. After the day's usual math lesson, the teachers begin brings out a stack of test papers. All right, everyone, clear your desks. <gasps> a what? A pop quiz? You know, I should have done. I should have done that, but no. It's just a. It's just a ca camel, today. Camel? Oh, thank God. Camels are the math league contest we do every few months. Oh, oh, oh! I can scroll back with the little, going, going, dun, 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 like this. That's so handy, handy dandy. The 30 minute tests consisting of weird problems that don't have much to do with our current course material. It's just for fun so they don't affect our grades or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't think we did that. Akarsha scans the six problems on her test. Wait, did we do something like this? I don't think so. I don't remember. It's been a while. Usually, three of the problems are freebies. You get right if you have a brain. And then there's two that you have to think about and one hella tough one. Better get to work. On the way to lunch, Akarsha, Noel, and Dia check notes on their answers. What'd you get all on the last question? The one about the diagonal passing through the 2012 by 2015 unit grid? Oh, these words. I drew the whole grid the best I could. I guess 3,800 based on that. Aghast, Noel drops her lunchbox as she pulls it from her locker, but Dia manages to catch it before it hits the ground. You drew the grid? There were thousands of units on each side. Only roughly, I was running out of time. I had one minute left and I didn't know where to start. The answer was 4026, right? The diagonal goes through the first square at 00, zero and then another 2014 squares horizontally and 2011 squares vertically. That's what I got too. Yes! If you got that, that's gotta be right. Min gives them a weird look as she joins them. What's wrong with you? How excited can you get over a math problem? Clearly you've never known the high of finding out you got the same answer as the smartest kid in the class. Noel preens a little at the compliment. That's an exaggeration. No, it's not. No one else in our class got all six right last time. Wait, you got all six? Don't they publish your name on a list or something online when that happens? Whoa. They do? Dude, that's so impressive. The most I've ever managed was five. Five is still perfectly respectable, though. It means you're better at math than the vast majority of high schoolers. And that's including all the way up to grade 12, not just our grade. Wow! These guys are in ninth grade? They're so baby! Oh my god. Yeah, I guess so. Ninth grader! Ninth grader! So baby! It's seriously amazing that, that she's basically one of the smartest kids in the whole state. We're so different, but at the same time, there's so many ways we're alike. We're so compatible with each other. We're so perfect for each other. Min holds the door open for Dia as they walk over to their usual table. After you, princess. Min Sale sometimes has the moves. Sometimes really does have the moves. Nah. Thanks. Nah. Hmm. Min always treats Dia like this, even though Dia's strong enough to smash a hole through the wall like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> I guess Dia finds it romantic that Min is protective of her and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important. I think that's important. Nah. I think so. 
Maybe if I try and move like that, Noel will fall for me. Um, I don't think Noel likes that kind of thing. Not everybody likes that kind of thing, and that's okay. Or some people want to be the one to do that protecting feeling, you know? So, everyone is different, but I, I think it's good. Where does Min, Min sometimes has moments of like supreme suaveness? It's very strange. Look, everyone is eating. Once you sat down, Noelle struggles to open her water bottle. Ugh. Tia must not have opened it for her like usual this morning. This is my chance. Here, I got this, babe. Akarsha snatches the bottle away from Noelle and tries to open it. This is surprisingly hard. <laughs> And they say chivalry is dead. You disgust me. Well, I was just trying to help. You were smirking condescendingly as you took the bottle from me. What's that? Was too, you were smiling weird. What? Was I? No, I'll hand the water bottle to Dia with a huff. Okay, that could have gone better. Luckily, I've got one last trick up my sleeve. Before the fifth period begins, Akarsha schemes at her desk. Acting sad because no one was into me didn't work, so I should try the opposite tactic. I'll make Noelle think dudes are falling for me left and right. I mean, this is high school. This is high school? This is high school. But this feels like a lot of extra energy, as opposed to just being like, hey, so I like, I don't like you. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's just me personally, you know? But we all overthink at times. Nah, I think so. So, if she likes me, she'll feel pressure to take action, or else I'll be stolen from right under her nose. I won't be on the market for long. I'm a limited time offer. Akarsha goes over to annoy Noelle at her desk. Noelle puts down a thick tome she's reading to give Akarsha her undivided attention. Yes. Can I tell you something? I'll allow it. I'll allow it? Who talks like that? What are you, a judge? I love you. So yesterday, I was RPing with one of my online pals. Oh my god. XXGBAsianXX on AnimeCrazy.net and he asked me to be his forum girlfriend. I turned him down, of course. But I'm so popular, this happens all the time. Never mind, forget I asked. Huh? She doesn't sound remotely interested. Suddenly a sharp tremor. <gasps> earthquake! Yeah, I! Earthquake! Suddenly a sharp tremor rattles Noel's desk! Quit shaking my desk. But I'm not shaking it. Noel and Akasha look at each other and then that they're violently shaking surroundings. There's a ghost! <laughs> oh my god. You mean earthquake? You're in California, this happens. Oh yeah, earthquake. There's commotion as Dee and the others crawl under their desks as for cover as taught by the years of earthquake drills. Yes. Without thinking, Akarsha dives under Noelle's desk, giving Noelle a s sitting dumbly in her chair. Akarsha, what am I supposed to hide under now? Oops, why don't you squeeze under here too? Oh, yeah, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Also, they teach you, you crawl under the desk, you put your hand o over your neck, and then the other hand you hold onto the desk, uh, what's it called? Just the chair leg of the desk so now you know what they teach in the california schools or at least they used to akasha tries to make room for noelle as she stiffly crawls under the desk ya bye ya bye ya bye every single one of noelle's joints pop as she crouches into place they're so close akasha, akasha can feel the heat rating off noelle's skin is it just me or is this like really romantic yeah 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 i think so now nah, i'm just overthinking it i gotta look at this objectively your nosies are almost touching, yo. That's close. Scowling, Noelle just readjusts herself and brushes her hand against the Karshas. No way. Does this mean what I think it means? She must have done that because she secretly likes me. Confirmed. No, I don't think so. I don't know what's happening, but I don't think so. I think Noelle... I don't think Noelle is going to be able to understand any of this until somebody, like, lays it flat for her. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of person that I think Noelle is. The kind of person that is like, oh, wait, they like me? And it's like, they confessed to you, they gave you cookies, they did this, they did that, and you didn't know? They said it to your face, you didn't know? She's that kind of person, I think so. Mm -mm -mm. That's why you just need to tell, I think. I think it stopped. Noelle clambers back to her feet in a hurry, but the blush. I can't believe you. I could have perished because of your selfishness. But you didn't. Talk about a win-win situation. What are the odds of an earthquake happening right as we were talking to each other? Maybe it's a sign from the universe that we're soulmates. This kind of thing, though, ne? It's very high school. I think so. It's cute. 
I mean, think about it. What's more likely than that this was a coincidence or that the world, world revolves around me and is trying to tell me something? <laughs> it's obviously the second one. It's very high school. Oh, where are we? Noelle, oh no, Akasha comes home giddy with the private con conviction that Noelle likes her back. In a spurt of reckless courage, she boots up the family desktop in the computer room after dinner. Okay, I'm gonna confess my love to her. Over text? I have a really good feeling about this. Hey, certified brain genius over here. Do you have a minute? Why is your display name certified brain genius? Uh, because I am one? Duh. What difference is there between a genius and a brain genius? It's a pointless distinction. No, no, they're obviously different. Did you change this just to annoy me? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't appreciate you questioning my certification. We ladies need to uplift each other. No point in having two queens fight. Queens? Right now I see you as nothing but an enemy to be obliterated. Okay, can we circle back to this later? That's not why I messaged you. Why did you message me then? I have to tell you something. What is it? I, uh, man, this is hard to say. <laughs> I kind of have a crush on you. Uh, what? You're joking, right? A crush your stomach drops as Noelle's flat response flashes on the screen. Crap, this is not what I was expecting. If she really liked me, she would have jumped to the chance to say she felt the same way. I know I would have. Which means I was overthinking all our interactions after all. I'm not a certified brain genius anymore. I've made a grave mistake. Uh, abort mission, abort. Uh, just kidding. That was my brother. Your brother? Yeah, he took the keyboard and typed it as a joke. I can't believe he did that. This face. I don't remember this face. This face, I remember this face. Like, I ever say anything that crazy? <laughs> I see. Just forget this ever happened, okay? My bro's so random, lol. Gotta go, bye. To me? I don't know how Noelle feels. Although, I should give Noelle more credit. Because Noelle knew, knows so much about Akarsha, right? Like, figured her out really, really well. That, I think most people, you read something like that, you know that they were serious. Based on that interaction pattern. I think so. Akasha powers the family to stop off her power pounding a mile a minute. That was a close one. I somehow salvaged that and escaped unscathed. Apart from my heart being broken into a thousand smithereens, I mean. Akasha dramatically throws herself onto the sofa in the living room. Used to this, her brother offers her a piece of candy. Wanna hide you? Pratik! Yes. Strawberry, please. No, thanks. Don't eat too many of those. They have dangerous oils in them. Ha! Huh? They have dangerous oils in them? Uh-oh. Well, too late now, Papa. I ate a ton of those as a kid, so... Okay, Dad. Huh? Dangerous oil! Dangerous oil! Huh? Her mom goes into the room. Akarsha just left to switch off the light. I need more information about the dangerous oils in Haichu. What is this? Diwali? Oops, sorry, I was having a meltdown and forgot. Want to watch a funny movie with us? It'll make you feel better. What's the movie? She's the man. Oh god. We just need to wait two minutes. It starts on TV at seven. The movie kicks off with a teenage heroine making out with her boyfriend. Ew. Gross. I don't know. Wish that were me. We would have been so cute together. We belong together. We should be dating. I was hoping so bad Noelle could see that too. It just really hurts to know she doesn't feel the same way. Oh, this actress makes a very handsome boy. She would have tricked me. She would have tricked you? Betty, do you know how to do this? Do what, disguise myself as a guy? What kind of question is that? You're so weird. It's a fun movie, but watching all the characters happily pair up after the wacky teen hijinks just makes Akarsha's chest ache even more. Seeing the forlorn expression on her face, her dad pats her on the back shoulder. Cheer up. If you really don't want to be a doctor, you can become a movie star instead. <laughs> what are you saying? I think it would be cool if Akarsha becomes a famous movie star. If she's rich, we can live in mountains. We can be like, in the wild. Why would we want that? I kind of want that, Papa. I kind of, I understand you, Papa. Uh, you can do it, Betty, I believe. My parents have such high hopes for me, but all I do is waste opportunities they work so hard to give me. Hmm... I have literally nothing going on for me. Going for me? I'm legitimately such a waste of time and resources. Ah, oh, how do people manage to have their first kiss in kindergarten and stuff? Ah, oh, that doesn't count somehow. Somehow, that does not count. Don't worry about that. 
don't worry about time frame. On this love and love and those kind of things, I think you should not worry about time frame. Because forcing it and then doing something, maybe you feel like, oh, that guy was a tool and I didn't even want to, but I needed to hit my quota. That just feels like a waste, you know? Don't worry. All in good time, ne? All in good time. Why doesn't everyone, anyone want to kiss me? Am I that unlikable? Feels like such a remote thing. I can't imagine it ever happening to me. I think this is something that Akarsha should talk to. Maybe Min is not. Maybe like Adia. Talk about those kind of things, you know? I've never even held someone's hand or been in any kind of relationship. At this rate, I'm going to go through my entire life without ever getting kissed. What's even the point of me staying alive? There's nothing for me to look forward to. Everything just feels so unattainable. Hmm. Once on the end credits roll, she dejectedly texts Min on her phone. I feel like a lot of people, especially in high school, but even older, even older, this is, I feel like everyone has been through this kind of moment, feeling like that, you know? It is, it is something that's unfortunately very relatable. I read online that it's healthy to wallow in sadness for up to one hour a day. And that hour begins now. Yeah! <laughs> this was also a screen cap, I remember. WTF? Ah, shut up! Ah, what happened? I confess that it didn't go well. Oh shit. Luckily, the second I saw things were going south, I was able to backtrack and play it off as a joke. I said it was my brother pranking me. Wait, hold on. You did this through text? Yeah, that's what I said, man. That's what I said. Yeah. Why? I don't know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Sad face. And that way I could say it wasn't me if I chickened down. WTF. Do it properly! In person! And deal with the consequences of my actions? No thank you. <laughs> well, if you're not sincere, sincere about it, then what you get back isn't going to be real either. Oh, that is kind of good. I like that. I do like that. I think that's true. Like, you're like spo you're like someone who went to Vegas, spent one penny, and got spooked and left. <laughs> you need to take risks if you want to win anything. This is true. This is true. And this is very hard for someone like me, too. It's hard to risk things, but you have to. In life, you have to. Too scary. Coward. What's the point? I know they're not interested in me anyway. Weak sauce move. And I can't even blame them. Who'd want to waste time with a loser like me? Then what am I? Chop liver? I'm wasting time with you right now. But you like wasting time with Dia more. See? Is die. Well, it's not a contest. Yeah. There's not like a limited resources of, of like affection and love and those kind of things where it's like, oh, well, Min loves Dia. So Dia gets 80% of the love and I get the leftovers. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's literally not how it works. <laughs> okay, but it kind of is. I don't know, like, having one person in the world think I'm worth loving would be nice. I feel like I've spent my entire life wanting people and being rejected while nobody's ever felt anything from me. Like, am I really that ugly and boring that no one would ever fall in love with me? You don't know, though. That's the other thing. Like, you don't know. A lot of times you don't know. So, and, even if no one did, like, it doesn't really matter. I feel like you have to focus more on you. It, it doesn't matter. Because what? Okay, what? You get, like, one person that really like you. But they're, like, super, super creepy. And they're super rude. And they have, like, no redeeming qualities or whatever, right? Do you want that person to be, like, creeping on you 24-7? No, it would not make you feel better. This it has to come from you, I think so. I think so. As someone who has went through this stage, I think the only way to resolve this properly, to me, at least, for me, was realizing that, like, you don't need that external validation if you have it internally. But that's not gonna happen in ninth grade, honey. That's 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 years of an, in the making. But that's what I think. I think so. I'm just a waste of space. Seriously, stop saying shit like that. I was kidding. I'm so random. It's not funny. Oh, XD. <laughs> Don't XD me, you son of a bitch. I just want to do normal high school things, like date and go to parties and stuff. I feel like I'm missing out on this whole fun, except except everyone else is having experience everyone has having well i can't help you there i didn't do those things in in high school so i don't i i can't answer this <laughs> i can't answer this look dumbass there's probably like three couples in our entire grade including me and dia bunch of socially stunted fob nerds 
Most of us aren't even allowed to date until college anyways. That's the real tea. I wasn't allowed to date in high school. But yeah, I think watching like a movie and those kind of things, it makes it seem like everybody is like on top of their game, perfect hair, no acne, you know, snatched body. And it's like, these are 20 year olds playing teenagers, A. And B, they're like celebrities. So they have like total skincare or whatever that you can't compare when it's not even reality. Yeah, that's true. That's something that you have to learn that as adults, I think is a more obvious thing, but for teenagers, it's definitely not obvious. At least I, it wasn't for me until I got older. I was like, oh, and I didn't even have to worry about like Instagram influencers when I was in high school. It seems like it's so much harder now, you know? Great. So not only am I undesirable weirdo, but I'm not even special. <laughs> not special is good sometimes. If you're not special, it means you're not alone. Ooh. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. You right. Do you wanna play Maple Story tonight? I need a distraction to stop thinking about my epic fail. OTL. OTL! I miss OTL. I still use OTL. Sorry, I can't. Jun's using the computer right now. Jun Seo! I love Jun Seo. Jun Seo, my son. Jun Seo. Please let him be in this game, Jun Seo. What? Why the music? How about we play through text then? What do you mean through text? What's happening? It's a snake? <laughs> oh, okay. Attack. Ninja star. It's hitting you! Negative 5 HP. Huh? Why? Use emoticons like me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Your butthole? Why would it be my butthole? Because it's just that little thing. It's the ninja star! Well, where's you? Sicko? Oh, okay. 22 damage. 25 damage. It's coming closer and closer again. <gasps> That's- oh, it's a fist punching. 2 damage. 4 damage. Negative 3 damage. Or HP. What the- the snail should be dead by now. They don't have that much HP. F9. Fine, you're not damaged. Cash. Okay, great. I'm gonna try doing the Kerning City PQ. Yeah, good choice. Kasha feels a bit better after talking to Min, but once she's logged off, the heartache in her chest returns. That night, Akasha reads an entire and the entirety of Azumanga Daio for the first time on a legal part of the scanlation site in an effort to forget about everything. Called out. Called out. Me. And then I saved up money for my birthday and I bought the Azumanga Daio, like the four. I think I have that in this room somewhere. In that bookcase. I think I do. I'm not going to get it, but I think I do. I remember. I bought all four and I had it and I owned it. It doesn't work. The next morning, Dia's house. So that's gonna do it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Poor Akarsha, man. She's going through it. She's having the feels. It's relatable though. I think this is like a real thing a lot of people go through, especially in high school. So mm. we'll see what happens. I, I'm really, I'm sold. I'm fully committed into it. I'm curious to see where this goes. Yes. So, until I see whatever I see you next round, be kind to others, especially yourself. Take care and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye!